We've traced his bloodline back 500 years. His name is Callum. What do you want from me? Your past. Or other men are limited by law. Everything's permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Assassin's Creed PG-13. You're here to save my soul. I understand it's your birthday. <laughs> yeah. The party's just getting started. His name is Callum Lynch. We've traced his bloodline back 500 years to the Assassin's Creed. Cal, as anyone in the world knows or cares, you no longer exist. What is this place? This is your second chance. What do you want from me? Your past. You're about to enter the Animus. What you see, hear, and feel are the memories of your ancestor, who's been dead for 500 years. Wait a minute! Welcome to the Spanish Inquisition. This is my Watching you, waiting to see who you are. Trust me, this is I believe you are destined for great things. Let's find out. This is my world. We work in the dark to serve the light. I'm beginning to like this. Assassins and Templars have been at war for centuries. The Assassins believe that above all else, mankind should have free will. The Templars are more interested in power and a way to control the human race. All the bloodlines of the Assassins died out. Far one. His name is Callum Lynch. What do you want from me? Your past. Assassins are making sure that freedom is still protected and cherished. Templars want us all dead. It's in your hands now. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. The concept of assassins and Templars battling through the centuries is a fantastic cinematic experience. It's original and inventive. Assassin's Creed. I just want it to be an unbelievable ride that leads you into some action sequences that are dynamic and they feel really exciting and we're trying to base as much as possible in reality. I'm Dan Walters and I'm the stunt double Michael. In the movie, Michael Fassbender's character is trapped and he has to jump a leap of faith jumping 125 feet. Normally, it would be a digital character that would jump off. Damien's the best, so we're gonna do it for real. 
Justin wants it to be as real as possible. We're going to the real world. We're not relying on visual effects. We start off low. The first jump is just a matter of figuring out the timing of the free fall. The actual footprint of the bag is only 10 metres by 10 metres, so when you're up there, it looks about the size of a four piece of paper. It's going to be the first jump, 70 feet. Drop again. Hitting the bag top heavy, so I'm getting a bit of whiplash on the back of the head. So I've got to try and not do that. Yeah, that's the best bit, when you walk off and go, oh, I'm all right, yeah. What you're about to see, hear and feel are the memories of your ancestor who has been dead for 500 years. What do you want from me? Your past. Cal, you're an assassin. I'm beginning to like this. The party's just getting started. We did PG-13. What you're about to see, hear and feel are the memories of your ancestor, who has been dead for 500 years. What do you want from me? Your past. The Assassin's Creed universe just seemed like something that would lend itself very nicely to a cinematic experience. We're really determined to make an audience believe that this world and these characters exist. To have somebody with Justin's strength and vision it was a huge bonus. I want it to be an unbelievable ride mixed with these exotic worlds that then lead you into some action sequences that are dynamic. In an era where there's a lot of CGI, we wanted to have as much old school, real location shoots as possible. So Spain becomes a huge part of our film and the exoticness of the assassins. When you put on the costume, you really feel like the character. In terms of the fighting, for Aguilar, his weapon of choice are the blades on the wrist. It was very important for us to get the parkour elements. You know, the fans are going to be looking for those. I think it's going to be really exciting. We are all making an immersive experience. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. The assassins are fighting for free will, and their main rivals are Templars. And Templars are trying to enhance humankind through science. I think Assassin's Creed has a really deep concept and idea, which is going back into time and having some sort of relationship with the ancestor that's come before you. The overall journey of the film is through the eyes of our protagonist that Michael Fassbender is playing. Your past. He's 
starts to learn that he comes from a lineage of assassins. He realizes the true history of himself and he creates a kind of revolution. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Michael is one of the greatest actors of his generation and there's many other strong characters in the film. The Assassin's Creed universe is a cinematic experience. Action sequences are massive. I just want it to be an unbelievable ride. You have to show him who he really is. At 6 p.m. yesterday evening, you were executed and pronounced dead. You no longer exist. What kind of prison is this? It's not a prison. You're about to enter the Animus. What you're about to see, hear, and feel are the memories of your ancestor, who has been dead for 500 years. Your past. Welcome to the Spanish Inquisition. I am a god, even though I'm a man of God. My whole life in the hand of God. So Y'all better quit playing with God. Executed and pronounced dead. You no longer exist. What kind of prison is this? It's not a prison. You're about to enter the Animus. What you're about to see, hear, and feel are the memories of your ancestor, who has been dead for 500 years. What do you want from me? Your past. Welcome to the Spanish Inquisition. the light. We are assassins. I am God. 